With South Africa faced with the challenge of a high rate of non-communicable diseases among its citizens, health workers are the ones looked up to by communities for solutions. Only 25% in South Africa are declared healthy, and this is mainly attributed to, among other things, healthy diet and knowledge of the benefits of such diets, as well as regular exercises. Outpatient departments are reported to be overflowing with patients who are on treatment of non-communicable diseases, which increases the waiting period that all patients have to endure when queuing for their medication. While lack of regular exercise and general inactivity may lead to overflowing in healthcare facilities for both young and old, more risks of drug abuse are often the norm among youth as a result. However, eating healthily and doing regular exercises are all that is needed to bring health to a body and to decrease the unnecessary long queues at our clinics and hospitals while leading to a healthier and brighter future for the youth. With the help of funding from the International Council of Nurses, ICN in 2012, Denosa took it upon itself to embark on the NCD project. It chose the Northwest Province and the village of Batsiti Barolong community under the town of Mafikeng, where drug abuse is at its highest. Let me present to you the effects of substance abuse in an individual. Brian Luayo from Tenosa has been managing this project for the past 20 months. We were raising awareness on both the community and the nurses in terms of non-communicable diseases. We were emphasizing the four life uh, risk factors encouraging members to partake in physical activity and also from time to time conducting education, health workshops where we were just encouraging them to have uh, healthy eating and also we raised awareness in terms of uh, reducing on intake of alcohol and also to try and cut down on smoking habits. The project comprised of aerobics, soccer, netball, as well as a gardening activity in and around Mafikeng. The MIs of all participants in the project are conducted regularly to track progress compared to when the program began. Participants of the project in the province, as well as management at Mafikeng Provincial Hospital, are already seeing progress. Oh 
Basis, no? Personally, it's not about the question of losing weight. It's just maintaining the healthy lifestyle, the healthy way of eating, eating well, and so on. But professionally, well, since I'm monitoring health and wellness in the hospital, it has improved the workers' morale, their sense of well-being. Those who are who are just more weight, they are now coming out just to do the exercise properly in order to maintain their health status and to reduce their weight and to be motivated on proper health eating habits. I started this NCD project, uh, non-communicable diseases, uh, aerobics team. That was uh, initiated by the Genosa and we, we uh, joined them uh, we normally train on Wednesdays from 2 up to 3 o'clock uh, or till half past 3, depending on the, uh, what can I say, depending on the, the number of people attended. The other thing is that the, this NCD project, you know, uh, helped me a lot because I'm a diabetic uh, patient now. After joining this NCD project uh, aerobics, I know my, my sugar level was quite uh, uh, under control. Uh, and 
and since then I also focus on the idea the people who are leading the team, the NCB project team, also advise us to, to guard against the weight and then they also advise us on the diet that uh, assisted me a lot but not saying that I've, I'm no longer taking my oral um, diabetic treatment. Uh, I'm taking that but I'm still continuing right as we speak even at home after uh, working hours during weekends I also do some, some exercises and my family also have joined me in that regard. Thank you very much. From project in to get a better because start up program in over week at least within two months next to get with it almost five kilos. So for now because I just did healthy and get exercise, even at my place, I can do some exercise still for regularity. I could do aerobics. And Silo is the manager of the football team. Yeah, this project is helping because they donate kit there for us, and we took the I took the kids from the street so that they can avoid doing drugs, so that they can avoid doing drugs. So this year, the, pro the problem is helping me a lot. Uh, even now, you see these boys are taking the boys from the school. They just help, help us from the school to bring the boys to come and play because they are part of the problem, uh, the, the project. We are here at Popilong Psychiatric uh, Hospital uh, today to come and witness uh, the physical activity uh, in terms of uh, the sporting activity football where we have invited uh, members from Popilong community and the nurses team that is represented by the psychiatric team and uh, the main provincial hospital. As you can see on my background, the game has just started. I call it a razzmatazz, as is reflected by my dressing today. It's uh, very informal to commemorate a uh, part of the closeout uh, session of the project, which started 20 months ago, where we were raising awareness on both the community and the nurses in terms of non-communicable diseases. We were emphasizing the four life uh, risk factors, encouraging members to partake in physical activity and also from time to time conducting education, health workshops, where we were just encouraging them to have uh, healthy eating. And also we raised awareness in terms of uh, reducing on intake of alcohol and also to try and cut down on smoking habits. So today we have held a workshop which was on substance uh, abuse with three presenters that presented in the morning and part of that session we also showcased the trophy, trophy that is going to be won by the football team and the medals where the winning team is going to be given uh, gold medals and uh, the losing team is going to receive bronze medals. On the other side of the field, the ladies are also battling it out where the nurses team for the hospital is playing against a nurses team for the community. Also, there is a cup to be won uh, by the winning team and also bronze medals. Next week, which is on the 30th, on Tuesday at 10 o'clock, 
who have planned the final closeout event for this project uh, where we are going to cover in brief lessons learned and share with the stakeholders as part of the closeout session. That is the final uh, day when the handover of the winning trophies is going to be uh, conducted. We are hoping that we are going to request uh, the Honorable Horsi, Jeff Motsiwa, to hand over to the winning team the medals and the trophy. My name is Brian Liwayo. I have been uh, the project manager for this non-common cable diseases, which was being funded by International Council of Nurses from Geneva. Among the key stakeholders was the Provincial Department of Health, the Northwest University, the Barolong Boratindi community represented by their leader, Jose Matsio, and uh, we've also had uh, other stakeholders that are too numerous to mention. I think it has really been my opening and exciting on my part uh, to be part of this encounter. Like I have indicated, it's now 20 months and it's coming to an end. It has been an exciting journey. Thank you very much. Healthy eating, regular exercises are all the requirements for a healthy living.